So after you hear my story, you might be confused as to why I'm such a happy person. You see, growing up, my sister Mary and I lived in a small town. Our parents were kind and loving people. They always made sure that we were happy. And although we weren't wealthy, they had a way of making money stretch so that all our needs were taken care of. Unfortunately, when I was 14 and my sister was 12, they were involved in a terrible accident. They were out running errands and were driving on the highway when their car hit a patch of ice and spun out and caused a massive car accident. Losing our parents at such a young age was almost too much for us to take, but we still had each other, and while we were close, we did become even closer as a result. Not only were we siblings, but we became best friends as well. Not long after the funeral, our grandparents took us in and did their best to fill our parents' roles, to the best of their abilities. It was a huge adjustment, but we leaned on each other for support and guidance, and both of us managed to do well in school. We both went to university and graduated at the top of our respective classes. I became a civil engineer, while my sister became a pharmacist. Sadly, our grandparents passed away soon after we graduated, once again leaving us alone. Being orphaned for the second time in our young lives was hard to handle, but we did our best to persevere. Between the money from our new careers and the inheritance that we received from both our parents and now our grandparents, we were able to buy a house and a car for each of us. For some siblings, this would have been an awkward situation, but we didn't mind. The house that we bought was big enough that we barely saw each other. I mainly lived on the first floor while my sister lived on the second. For a while, we focused on our careers and were happy, until once again, tragedy paid us a visit. I was inspecting a high-rise that I had helped to design when a crane operator hit the building above me and caused some building materials to fall and land on me. All I can remember is looking up and seeing wood and steel falling above me and then waking up in the hospital. Thankfully, I recovered, but my spine had been severely damaged. With a lot of physical therapy, I would be able to one day be able to stand and walk short distances, but I would need a wheelchair for the rest of my life. For months, I was depressed, but Mary lifted my spirits. She took care of me and kept pushing me to do my best with my physical therapy. If it weren't for her, I'm not sure that I would ever walk again. I was so grateful for her. A few years later, though, I'm sorry to say that I was shocked to hear what would normally be happy news. Henry, I have some great news. Oh, what's that, sis? I've been seeing this boy, Jared, and last night he proposed to me and I said yes. Henry, I'm getting married. I know that I should have been excited for her, but unfortunately, all I could think about was that I would be all alone, that there was a chance that I might lose my best friend. Thankfully, though, I chased those feelings away as I knew that Mary had always been there for me and even if she got married, none of that would change. And so I began to feel just as excited as she felt and I cheered the wondrous news. A week later, she introduced me to her new fiancé. And at first he seemed okay, but there were subtle things that made me question if he was the right one for her. Henry, this is my fiancé, Jared. Hello, Jared. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah. It's nice to meet you, too. So, um, Mary was saying that since your parents are dead, that she wanted you to walk her down the aisle for the ceremony. With your chair... How are you supposed to be able to do that? Well, I can actually walk short distances, but it takes a lot out of me. Oh, I see. Yeah, it will be beautiful, and it will mean a lot to me too. Plus, he can lean on me for support as well. I don't think Mary saw it, but Jared made a face when she said this. If he was trying to hide his disgust of my wheelchair, then he wasn't hiding it very well. The weeks passed, and the two of them discussed more of the wedding plans. A few times, Jared asked if Mary didn't want his father to walk her down the aisle instead, but she was adamant that I do it. I honestly felt like he was embarrassed that I would be a part of the ceremony. During this time, Jared moved in with us and began to make quite the mess around the house. He would even leave dirty dishes in my portion of the house. I tried to bring this up to Mary, but she just brushed it off. Between work and planning for the wedding, she was doing all that she could, and so I made plans to speak with Jared and establish some ground rules. Feeling confident, I went into the living room to speak with him, but he was nowhere to be seen. He did, however, leave his cell phone on the couch. Normally, I would never dream of looking at someone else's phone, but it was vibrating like crazy. I was curious, 
and so I picked it up and saw that he had received several messages from two different women, one named Wanda and the other Stacy. I know that I shouldn't have read their messages, but I needed to know who they were, and they both were thanking him for the lovely gifts that he had given them, and for the amazing dates that he was taking them on. I could tell that neither knew about the other, and I definitely suspected that my sister didn't know about them. Suddenly I heard someone coming down the stairs and I braced myself to confront Jared about how he was treating my sister, when both my sister and Jared came into the room. Jared, do you have something to tell my sister? Maybe you would like to introduce her to Wanda, or maybe to Stacy. Oh Henry, what on earth are you talking about? You see? This is why I don't want his crippled butt at the wedding. He's trying to wedge himself in between us. He can't stand that we're happy and that he isn't, so he is trying to break us up. Henry, please tell me this isn't true. Of course it isn't. I've only ever wanted you to be happy. But not only does he hate me just because I'm crippled, but he's also cheating on you too. I quickly threw Jared's phone to Mary, who looked at it and instantly got angry once she started reading the messages. Hey, that's my phone. How dare you look at it? Before my sister could respond, Jared slapped her so hard she fell to the floor and then grabbed his phone. It looked like he was going to hit her again, so I quickly wheeled over and began punching him. While I may be stuck in a wheelchair, I do have very strong arms, and after hitting him a few times he got scared and then ran out of the house. Once I was able to calm my sister down and make sure that she wasn't seriously hurt, we called the police and reported that Jared had assaulted my sister. It didn't take long for the police to find and arrest him. As it turned out, this hadn't been the first time that he had assaulted a woman before. This made the judge that was assigned to his case very strict on him, and he was sentenced to As five for my years sister, in prison. She was devastated, but of course she called off the wedding after learning what kind of man that Jared truly was. Heartbroken, she leaned on me, and I did my best to support her through the healing process. The one positive thing that I took away from this, though, was that I was a bit too reliant on the idea that it would always be just my sister and I. And so, even though it was difficult, I moved out and got a house of my own. This opened up a lot of doors for both of us, and I'm happy to say that not long afterwards that Mary met someone amazing who treated her like a queen. We even became good friends as well. As for me, well, it took a bit longer, as I'm very shy, but I'm happy to say that I recently got engaged, and you would never guess what happened. Since Mary had pushed me so much with my physical therapy, not only was I able to walk her down the aisle for her wedding to her new boyfriend, but I did so for my own as well. In fact, I no longer even need my wheelchair. My future has never looked brighter. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe.